Hey everybody, Jason here. Uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, I've been pretty busy with leather work and stuff, but um, so um, in this next series of leather videos, I'm going to show you guys how to uh, properly set your uh, your snaps, rivets, and eyelets. And I have here, I think, just about all the tools I use for that. Um, you've got your 3 16 eyelet setter set. This is the quarter inch eyelet setter set. And then we've got four different size rivets. Uh, this is your line 20 snap, line 24 snap, and then those are the eyelets right there. Uh, you're also going to want your six piece hole punch set. And I made a little pattern here for you guys to kind of show you some stuff. And this baby right here uh, is a Craft Tool Deluxe Snap All rivet setter set. Uh, of course got it a Tandy Leather. There was a foam inlay and there was a piece of paper on here I don't have anymore. But if you're gonna set uh, snaps by hand, I highly recommend this one. Uh, works very, very well. Um, so let's get to it. Uh, we'll start off with uh, simple stuff like the, um, uh, the rivets and then we'll go from there. Alright guys, um, so we're gonna install some rivets and what you're going to need is you're going to need your hole punch set right there and you'll need your rivets. I'm trying to get as much of a close up as I possibly can so you guys can see as you notice you've got different sizes of rivets you've got small, extra small, medium and large and then you've got all your different sizes uh, most, 99% of the time I use the smallest hole punch uh, for the rivets and I believe it's a 5 64th. It is the, um, let me grab the catalog real quick here for you guys. It is the six piece setter kit over at Tandy Leather. Ooh, let me see if I can get that in there. There you go. That's it right there. Uh, you got your sizes. Let's see if I can back that up. There you go. 564, 3 32nd, 8th inch, 964, 5 32nd, 11 64th. That is the punch set right there that we're going with. Whoops, sorry about that. So, um, so I use the smallest hole. Uh, you want to keep your, whatever you're setting, like rivets, eyelet snaps, you want to make them as snug as possible in the leather and by using that smallest hole, they're going to be really snug, so uh, let's let's go do. All right, so we're going to move this away. Um, depending on depending on the thickness of the leather depends on what size rivet you're going to use. Uh, for this, I'll go for the medium size one. As you can see, they all have different size caps and your um, and the posts. And the cool thing about rivets is the caps are interchangeable. You can actually use different size caps for the different uh, size rivet with the post. So I'm just going to go with this. I believe that would be the the medium one right there. So I'm going to move these aside, and this will just be an example. So we're going to take two pieces of leather here for a um, example. Most of the time when you're riveting, you're riveting two pieces of leather together. Not always. Uh, sometimes uh, you're doing it for decoration but let's just say we're gonna snap these two together so you can actually you we can pretend this leather is glued together stitched together whatever you can punch through both pieces and sometimes if the hole is not big enough the nice thing about this hole punch you can just stick it through there twist it and kind of widen the hole a little bit like I said you want to make sure they're whatever your setting is nice and snug. So what you're going to do is take the rivet with the post, put that through, and then you can just put the other one on top. This is just for an example. And as you can see, you got a little bit sticking up, and that's perfect. That's actually exactly what you want. You can press the cap on top of it, and then Where's my rivet setter? I just lost it. There it is. Here's your rivet setter. It's just a very simple tool. You can pick these up at Tandy Leather all the time. I'm gonna move my cutting board right here. Now, 
in the in part of my kit where you have this you can use this small circle to seat your rivet or the other side um, I don't feel you need to do that when you're pounding a rivet you can put it just on a hard surface like that and then take your tool the part with the rounded I guess domed sunk inside you put on top and just hammer it just like that if you choose to hammer your rivet directly on a hard surface it will flatten out the back which sometimes can actually help you or you may not want that look but it does not damage it whatsoever but uh, there you go that's how you set a rivet and the same process would go for any of the different size rivets uh, the only rivets I'm not going to be showing you I do not have any copper uh, rivets the ones with the holes so that I cannot show you so I apologize but um, yeah that's how simple it is um, I don't think there's really any more to say than that um, you just punch a hole stick the rivet in there and use your setter on top of it and hammer it in very simple we'll go uh, next we'll do the eyelets okay guys next we're going to set some eyelets uh, and if you want make yourself one of these this can help you um, I do have another hole punch and this is just one I bought separate it's a quarter inch um, I bought from Tandy Leather and you can use this for your quarter inch eyelets that is the big hole right there and if you notice the eyelet will fall out now, now that's the quarter inch eyelet that's the quarter inch hole you see how it fell out um, not not necessarily what you want so we're going to take the biggest hole in that set which is this one and if you notice the eyelet will not it will not fit in there if you widen the hole out sorry if you take your hole punch in there and you widen it out you'll get a nice snug fit and it's not going to fall out but this is kind of cheating we're going to do a brand new hole right here so let me move this stuff we've, we've got our setters right here and I'll show you that so let's get another piece of leather here uh, to punch our holes I'm going to have to take this stuff off okay so we're going to take the biggest hole which was a 11 64ths on that six piece set and we'll just punch that oops sorry the hammer was in the way now let me actually figure out the size of the the 3 16 eyelet eyelet which looks like it would be the third hole which is the eighth inch you know, honestly, technically, these eyelets are eighth inch. It says three sixteenths, but they're actually eighth inch. <clears throat> Sorry, I just dropped it. Okay, so we're gonna automatically punch another hole here while I've got these out. So I'm pretty sure this is the third one. Oops, did the thing with the hammer again. Okay, so we've got our two holes punched. And so we're going to move the cutting board. And we'll go, go over here and bring our setters in. Now I'm going to have to widen this hole out. Because I like a snug fit on my snaps and rivets and all that. So we're going to stick that in there might be a little tough there is another set you can buy that another six piece set that takes off after the 1164th and goes up all right so I got that one set in there and we'll go ahead and put the the eighth inch in there so as you can see they don't fall and they're nice and snug in there so here is your setter this is the 
quarter inch eyelet setter you can see there is a ring in there kind of like a donut and that's what <laughs> this is gonna this part is gonna set sit in I guess they call it a seat and then you're gonna take your setter now this is the this is for the quarter inch eyelets if you can kind of get a look at that and just kind of hold this sorry I know my hands in the way and what I like to do I'll pound it down a couple I pound it down just a couple times and then I'm going to go in a circle. And that's it. Nice and secure. And now we're going to switch that and we're going to bring in the seat for the 3 sixteenths. Uh, same thing, you just set it on top in the seat. And here is the 3 sixteenths uh, other part of the setter. There you go. That's it, plain and simple. You just punch a hole, stick it in there, and use the seat or setter, whatever comes with it. Uh, so last we'll do the snaps. Those, those can actually be, uh, the most difficult, the most challenging. So we'll do those last. And uh, so yeah, that's the eyelets right there. All right guys, we're gonna work on the uh, snaps now. Now, there's something I need to talk to you about before we go any further with these. The posts on snaps. Um, they. This is your line 24 snap. These are the bigger ones. This is the line 20. These are the smaller ones. Smaller ones obviously have smaller and shorter posts, but they only come with one size posts. So why is that a big deal? The big deal is because sometimes you may want to put snaps on utility leather or thinner leather, something like this leather that is probably, you know, it's, it's like not even, it's probably a sixteenth of an inch thick. If you're going to be using something thick, anywhere between 8, 9, 10 ounce leather, the snaps are fine. But when you're using thin leather, you're going to have to sand down the posts. And what I mean by that is if you can see how much this post is going to stick up, why does that matter? Well, when you seat this and you're going to pound this down, this post is going to be so stinking high that it's going to bend and fold and split. So you are going to have to get used to the fact of sanding down your posts or cutting them whichever way you want to do it. Um, I've got my sander out in my shop so if the leather is too thin I'll just take them out there in like two seconds you can sand down a couple millimeters, eighth of an inch. And that's something that you're just going to have to figure out, do some trial and error. Um, so you're, I want to explain that now so you don't find out the hard way that I, like I did um, when you, if you want to put snaps in a very thin piece of leather and then all of a sudden the whole post bends over because you only need a little bit of post to pound down onto your other part. If that makes sense, I hope, I hope that makes sense to you guys. Okay, so line 24 snap. We are going to use the size of our hole punch. And that would be, and that's going to be the third one, which is eighth inch. So I'm going to have to move some of this stuff. So, where's my hammer? All right, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna punch a hole. Sorry, did the hammer thing again. And we're gonna punch another hole over here because for the uh, opposite end. Okay. And again, like I said, you can take your hole punch and stick it through the other end to kinda widen the hole a little bit. All right, so we're gonna take the the piece I just dropped, 
you take your dome end, which will be the top, stick it through the hole, and then we're going to take the bottom part of it, and we're going to stick that through this hole. Like, it doesn't really matter which side you put it on, this is just for example. And so, now we're going to take our setter. Here's the setter. We're going to go with the biggest size hole on there. That is for the line 24 snap. And if this makes sense to you, this is what I was talking about. This leather is fairly thick. You can see how much post is sticking up. So that's, that's about as much as you want. About an eighth inch sticking up. You don't need any more than that. And because the leather is very thick, it's going to hold the post in place. So we don't have to worry about that bending over. Okay, so for the domed portion of the snap you're gonna want to use trying to get a close-up for you this piece that one's gonna go on top and then the other one is gonna go on that one all right so first now we're gonna take the other part of the setter which is this big beast and same thing with the eyelets I pound this uh, down just a little bit and then I will kind of go in a circle And there you go Came out pretty good And now for the other one you can use this setter, but on this bottom part, you can just put it right on your hard surface. You don't necessarily have to use this. For the domed, you do have to use it. If you just put that on a flat surface, you are totally going to ruin the nice dome, and that's the part that you see. For this part, this is usually underneath something, you don't see it, so you can do that on a hard surface, and it's not going to damage it. It actually flattens it out a little bit and, in my opinion, makes it a little bit better. So, as you can see, nice. That one's set perfectly, and then... There we go. There's our two snaps. That's it. So what we're gonna do is have a little fun here and we're gonna leave that together. So we're gonna do the line 20 snap. And so I'm gonna take, dang it, that hammer again. I'm gonna take the smallest hole on the hole punch which is the 564s and we're just going to go all the way through and we're going to make another snap on the same piece all right so what did i do with the snaps here we go here's the dome part which we're going to put on the same place as uh the line 24 same thing with the other end we're gonna put this one through and then have that one set on there and this one set on there just like that and then we're gonna have two snaps for this so so I'm gonna move the cutting board we'll do this one first no let's not confuse you guys let's do this one so we're gonna use the setter and for the line 20 you're gonna use the second largest hole there and you can see how you put that in there and it's nice and stable which is exactly what you want now we've got a different size setter uh, it's basically the same thing as a 24 it's just a little bit smaller for this uh, post on the on the snap
Actually, that one did not come out very well. Um, I should have pushed the ladder down, so... Um, yeah, actually that post was actually not that... was not tall enough. I don't know if you can see that. The inside's a little bit smushed, so I actually should have used thinner leather for that 24 snap, but it is holding. But this video is just to show you how to set them, but understand things can go wrong. All right, guys. So um, I just um, I'm gonna redo the line 20 snap. Uh, as you can see, that leather on the last piece was too thick, and the post did not pound down correctly. And um, that's something that you'll learn as you're doing this when you're setting snaps and rivets the thickness of the leather does matter i should have known that that was too thick for the 24 snap or for the 20 i'm sorry for the 20 snap so um so we're gonna do the uh the line 20 separately all right so here's the pieces that's pretty much what we need right there and your hammer um all right so we're gonna punch our holes and for the hole we're gonna use the smallest one the 560 forks this stuff aside. One there. One there. Right, so we'll take the top, the domed, and that should be, that should be quite enough posts sticking up right there. And same thing with the other end. I'm going to use my hole punch to make the hole a little bit bigger and then that will slide in perfectly and sorry the camera angle it's kind of confusing and that should be enough so we'll find out here. We'll start with the domed. We'll take our setter and we're going to use the second to the biggest one. If you're ever confused about what hole, what set seat to use well, you can always just stick it in there and you can see how well it fits in there and that's what we want that's why I love this this setter kit so just like the line 24 snap we got one of these setters uh, it looks almost identical it's just smaller and I'm gonna set this the exact same way And that one came out much, much better. That one came out good. Okay, so for the other side of the snap, as you can see how flat that is, this one you can do directly on the hard surface, and that will not, you do not have to use the seat for that, for this one. And there you go, you're done. Snaps together. There's your snaps. That's it. Alright guys. So, I'm pretty much done with this video. I just wanted to show you one thing. I can't get the name in there. There we go. Now, if you would like to do this the very, very easy way and make sure that your snaps and rivets and eyelets are all set perfectly, you can go to Tandy and buy this. It is a craft tool hand press. I'm not sure the size of this thing. Here listed are all the different dies. What you do is you basically will insert your your rivets, your eyelet, your snaps in here <clears throat> and pull this down with your hand. I'm pretty sure this is really big. It's, you'd be pulling it down with your hand and it will press everything together nice and neatly and perfectly. Um, so what you would do is you buy this and then you buy each individual die for the different snaps and rivets. So why don't I do that? Because this costs $150, and every single die costs between $60 and $90 each. So that's why. But uh, if you guys think it's uh, cost efficient for you, go for it. I mean, it, it, I would love to have it. Uh, for me, it's just not worth the money when I already have the tools to do it by hand. But I figured I would just let you guys know what's out there. And uh, so that's it. That's the video. Um, I hope it helped. If you guys got any questions, if I missed something, um, I think I just about covered it. Um, 
all the tools that I've used you can get at Tandy Leather, uh, all the rivets, eyelets, and snaps, all that stuff. So um, if you guys want to try this out, go to Tandy Leather. They should, they'll have everything that I just used. And um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.